Its name, M3. Its mission, close to production touring car racing. The idea to create a successor to the M1 based on the new 3 Series was born in the summer of 1981. It didn't take long to develop a concept. Unlike its handmade middle-engined predecessor, the new M3 was to be mass-produced on the assembly line. The fast BMW 3 Series car was launched in 1986, but it was more than simply an extra powerful 3 Series. An individual drive concept developed by BMW M GmbH increased the heart rate of drivers looking for sports performance. The 2.3-litre engine of the original M3 combined experience from race driving with insight gained in series production. BMW settled on a four-cylinder engine as its shorter crankshaft promised more revs than that of a six-cylinder engine. Developers focused strongly on the chassis. A new front axle ratio helped to lower the car. In addition, it sported more direct power steering and a high-performance brake system with ABS. Its 200 horsepower meant that the BMW M3 accelerated from 0 to 100 km an hour in 6.7 seconds and had a top speed of 235 km an hour. On the one hand, in order to be allowed to get involved in motorsport, a homologation quantity of 5,000 had to be built. On the other hand, the idea was to offer a street version that would meet the expectations of those customers looking for a really sporty drive. And it worked. BMW had created a new market segment. Selling 17,700 cars at a retail price of 58,000 marks proved that the car was a great success. From 1987 to 1992, the M3 dominated the touring car racing scene and became the most successful touring car. Successful in racing and highly profitable at the same time, it doesn't come as a surprise that BMW has taken up the M3 idea in subsequent 3 Series.